Welcome to the Tennis Warehouse Racket Review of the Prince Tour Diablo Mid Plus. The Tour Diablo Mid Plus is back. Originally launched in the early 2000s, this racket has a 100 square inch head, a 16 by 18 string pattern, comes in at 11.5 ounces strong, features a 19.5 millimeter beam and a maneuverable 317 swing weight. Plus, it's slightly extended for even more access to power and spin. We think this racket is loaded with nostalgia and a classic feel, but still plays perfectly for the modern game. This was such a fun play test for me for so many different reasons. I'll start with the fact that one of my favorite players when I was in my teens was Xavier Melise, and he endorsed this racket and he's still out there endorsing and swinging this racket as he's coaching Lloyd Harris. So it's been super nostalgic and fun for me to dive back into a Prince throwback racket. I also used extended Prince rackets in my junior years. So I initially loved hitting with this one. The string pattern felt very open and I found really easy access to spin, really easy access to depth. It's very maneuverable and swings speedy and explosive for my game. At times I did feel like I could swing even harder and really get that ball dipping into the court. Just really fun to blast balls from the baseline. Um, I was kind of craving a tiny bit more control. I could have used an extra cross string, I'm not gonna lie. However, I really was able to test this racket in so many, with so many different string options. And one even included a Kevlar hybrid, which really lended to better control for me as well as good feel. At net, it was super easy to maneuver. Sometimes it was a little flighty um, and unpredictable, but Sometimes I could just blame my own mechanics for that. And on serve, I really appreciated what this racket had to offer. That little extra quarter inch really helped get the ball popping into the service box really fast to swing. I found I could hit really big, powerful first serves, but also access as much spin as I needed on those second serves. Uh, all in all, I think I love this racket mainly because it felt so nostalgic, but still was super fun to swing and a great play test for me. Right off the bat, I'm going to date myself a little here. I was on the original review of the Diablo Mid Plus, and only a couple of things have changed since then. One, I'm a lot older, and two, I discovered polyester string. So got to hit this one with a poly, never did back in the day, played it with just multis, and I actually preferred the Diablo Mid over the Mid Plus, which was standard length and obviously smaller head size. Now I've aged a bit and I'm looking for something a little bit quicker, easier to get around, and plus the added length definitely helps me out. So uh, this is racket is definitely more in my spec today than it was in its day. And um, I still though prefer it with a multi-filament string, getting enough control out of this racket to bring the ball down inside the court. And I just like the way the string bed felt with a multi over a poly. Poly played a little dead towards the, up, the uh, upper hoop for me. Uh, felt great in the sweet spot, ton of spin, great control, but just uh, the multi-filament opened up the racket nicely for me. Loved it in that super plush feel, lots of control. I think it's a great serve and volley racket. Uh, a really nice racket on my backhand slice too because the added length lets me uh, just knife that slice with just a flick of the wrist and get that leverage from the length and can really drive the ball where I want it to go. So super fun play test for me. Trip down memory lane for sure. And with that being said, let's kick it over to the East Coast now. Check out with our playtesters there, see what they had to think of this Diablo Mid Plus. Thanks, guys. Getting this racket onto court, I was definitely brought back to the days of hitting the Phantom line of rackets, that thinner, flexible beam, 16, 18 string pattern. This one does have a little bit different construction. It is slightly extended in length. And if I was playing with another racket on court, switching over to this one, I did notice that different dynamic initially, but once I got into the groove of playing with this racket, I thought it was plenty maneuverable from around the court. It offered good stability and there was nice mass coming through the ball and that allowed it also to handle pace really well. So where it excelled best for me was in the back of the court when I was playing in those counter punching rallies, those grinding baseline rallies, that was a lot of fun for me. And being that it handled those quick, fast exchanges really well, it also was great on the return of serve going up against powerful serves. The one area I did struggle was when I had more time, when I had control of the point, able to dictate points and wanting to swing bigger through the ball. That's where I was missing a little bit, um, the ability to pinpoint my target. So I needed to play a little bit safer, tap into the spin that was there and hit kind of shorter angles, pushing my opponent wide, utilizing slice and changing up my strategy a little bit that way as swinging big, it was easy to overshoot my targets there. Moving up to net, I thought it offered good stability. There was nice mass again coming through the ball, so I was able to punch balls deep, but there was also that touch there for when I wanted to drop the ball short. 
And then over on serves, I thought this swung easily overhead, especially for having that little bit of extended length there. Easy to tap into spin there, easy to get the balls moving quickly through the court. So definitely felt it was pretty easy to use there as well. Overall, if you're a fan of those classic box beam frames, I think you're gonna feel really at home with this one and definitely gonna be a fun one to get out on court. After playtesting the Diablo for the past few weeks, I can confidently say that the best word to describe it would be classic. If you're looking for a classic feeling, classic looking racket, this is exactly what you're gonna get with the Diablo. I'm normally a bit more modern style player, but with the Diablo, I found myself hitting a bit more heavy and flat in the court, which means my game naturally kind of adjusted to the strengths of this racket. On the baseline, the Diablo is an absolute counter puncher, which means that if you hit the ball in front of you in the sweet spot, which is actually not too big, then you will be rewarded with like a really plush, comfortable feel. On the other hand, if you hit the ball a bit outside the speed spot and a little bit late, you will feel that the racket can be a bit jerky at some time, so it's not as comfortable as I would have wished. Having said that, there's a lot of room for customization for this one, and I would just maybe add a little bit of weight to the racket head to make it a bit more stable. My absolute favorite shot with this racket has to be the serve. I was really able to utilize the extending length of it and accelerate the racket head. Based on my experience, the Diablo would not be my favorite everyday playing racket, but this will be a perfect racket for someone that's looking for the classic feel and the classic look. It is the right racket for you. For this review, we strung up this racket with the Prince Vortex Triad at 53 pounds. For more information on this racket and others, please head to Tennis Warehouse, Tennis Warehouse Europe, or Tennis Only.